Hello, this is Peter with Peter Prince, and today we are going over my magnetic mount for the Milwaukee M18 job site fan, part number 0886-20. The fan looks like this. Now, just before we start, uh, understand I am not affiliated with Milwaukee. This is not a Milwaukee part. This is an aftermarket 3D printed uh solution for those who want to install their fans on a metal surface with magnets. Uh, install this kit at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any damage to your fan. Milwaukee is not responsible, I'm sure, and uh, I would be wary uh, of your warranty. If you are concerned about that, do not install or buy this kit. So, now that that's out of the way, uh, here is the kit. You will receive two of my adapter plates. These are five millimeter th thick each, and I'll show you how to install them shortly. You will receive uh, two neodymium bar magnets. Each one of these is rated for uh, 70 pounds of pull force, and you will receive, oh, well, there they go, four circular neodymium magnets, and uh, these are each rated for 110 pounds of pull force. Uh, you will receive two of my small adapters oh, that uh, are created and 3D printed and I'll show you the use of those when we get to them. So you get two of those. You get five of my number six, not mine, but uh, number six by one and a half inch screws. You'll get four of the number six by quarter inch screws and you'll get one number six by half inch screws. I recommend only using hand tools for this installation and the tools you will need are one Torx bit T15 screwdriver and a uh, Phillips number two screwdriver as well. That should be all you need. Let's get a better view set up. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is take the fan, turn it all the way up to 90 degrees towards the ceiling, turn it over. I like to flip it this direction. Alright, let's see if we can get that all in the shot better. Okay, you'll take your T15 and unscrew these five T15 screws. One, two, three, four, five. Almost. All right, I'll keep these right here for a second. You'll take your two small adapter pieces and they go into your screw holes here, like so. Those fit in at a 45, and then you turn them 45 so that they line up straight with the fan bottom. Okay, once they are lined up, you will take your plate that looks like this with the hole in the middle and the two nubs on this side. And you set it in here, making sure that your square is over here goes over those. Make sure those are lined up. Lined up. The only reason this circle here is so that you can throw your screws in them if you want to keep them. Quick quick thing I forgot to add. Um, I'll also include one of these little... Uh, normally these come with the magnets for adhesive uh, backing, which I don't even know how you would do that with these magnets. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, but this makes sense if you want to install and actually keep your uh, screws in here. You can just throw this in here. Uh, put it in here. And then remove, if you want to, you can remove the adhesive and reinstall this back. So when you put your uh, screws in this hole,
they don't bang around so much and make a bunch of little rattly noises that I know can annoy people. Next you'll take your second adapter piece and it goes over the top like so. Alright. Now we need our Phillips and we'll start with a one and a half inch screw over here. We're just gonna loosely put these screws in to keep everything kinda in place. You don't wanna tighten anything all the way ever until the end to uh, avoid binding. So we can keep everything loose. So we're just gonna snug them in there. Okay, once you have those two in, it's time for your four magnets. One, two, three, and four. These three get the one and a half inch screws as well. On two, you're gonna have to fight your magnets and your tool unless you have a plastic screwdriver or a non-ferrous screwdriver, I guess. All right, we're just getting those snug in there. This magnet's the special one over here. This one is the one that gets your six by half inch screw. He just kind of sits out here. Oh, I screwed that all up. There we go. He sits out here by his lonesome. Just snugging him. Okay. Next, we're going to take our neodymium bar magnets, and they will be a snug fit here. Should fit flush. And uh, snug fit here. And these will take our number six by quarter inch screws. Now, the m number one thing you want to do while tightening into plastic, either removing the thread, the screws out of the job site fan, or screwing back into, all of these screws are going into plastic. So that's why I recommend only using hand tools and tightening until snug. If you over tighten and strip the threads, that's on you. Don't do it. Okay, so we're just going to tighten each one of these until snug. So you can rotate freely there. We're going to just, not too much. It just needs to be snug. Hopefully, you can tell how much to do. It's not much. Snug is a uh, unit of measurement, I'm pretty sure, so I am perfectly in my right to say tighten until snug, I do believe. Once they are all snugged, your installation is complete. So it will add a, a combined 10 millimeters onto the bottom here. Um, I do not own the very largest magnet for the Milwaukee, but I do own a normal mag uh, ma magnet uh, charger. Sorry. So a normal charger is at this height. I know that the uh, the five amp hour or, or or twelve amp hour is probably about double that. So I believe that fits. But if you get onto those really big ones, you might. You might have an issue with clearance. Uh, you don't want to go below that line because that's where, unless uh, unless you can find a place to stick it on the wall where, you know, where a pole or something that where this is open. So uh, 
now we'll just go to a video uh, of me shoving it on some magnetic objects so you can see how it works. Okay, here is some metal that was taken off of a uh, electrical box. It's fairly thick, like you can't, you're not really bending this a whole lot. It's pretty stinking heavy. So this is a good chunk of metal. So let's just shove it on there. I mean, you're definitely gonna want the a little bit thicker metal to go on to. It's kind of hard with one hand to show the force here, but oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, I mean, hard. It's hard to. Hard to explain how heavy this is. I guess I could go weigh it, but. It's gotta be a good 20 pounds, at least. Let's step on it and get this up. Yeah. Well, let's stick to the side of a vehicle. Yes. I don't recommend it, probably for the vehicle's sake, but also because you really want a flat surface because this isn't even touching here. So flat surface is best. Here's some rusty uh, shelving leftover metal. This is a little thinner than the other stuff. A little less heavy, but Has a better job than this. This is my uh, zinc plated carport railing. So you really want to probably line it up if you're going to put it on here so that you get the most magnets. You can do it with just these two, it holds. It can probably be stronger if you use the back. Two. Yep. So. so it will stay even if you turn it on to number three. If you got some heavy uh, work board, definitely mounts on that stuff. So, moral of the story, you want a pretty thick metal to put it on. It will fit on thinner sheets of metal, but it's just not going to be as strong. It doesn't have as, um, as much metal to magnetize to. But when you get it on these uh, thicker metal pieces, like it get, it stays on like <laughs> so anyway if for any reason you want to magnetize your Milwaukee job site fan oh well, there you go